Hey you guys, it's Strangelove, and today I wanted to give you a review of my Gunner Optics gaming glasses. And first off, I want to say I'm not getting paid for this, and this isn't a product placement. I just wanted to give you my opinion of the glasses in case you're thinking about getting a pair for yourself. Maybe this video can help you make a decision. So um, let's get right into it. Uh, the pair that I got, they're called Steel Series Scope, and they have a nice little cat eye style to them. So um, I really like the design of these. They have a lot of different designs on the website that you can choose from. And these ones are specifically gaming glasses and you can tell because they have these really skinny little arms and they're skinny because they fit better underneath gaming headsets. So um, they're really comfortable. They don't like squeeze your head or anything like that. Um, they're so comfortable that sometimes I forget that I have them on. So I'll be walking around the house and I'll notice that everything's a little bit more yellowy than I'm used to. And that brings me to another point, is the yellow lens. You're probably wondering why the lens is yellow, and I call them my bug eyes because they make me look like I have bug eyes. But um, the yellow lens helps increase the contrast of whatever screen you're looking at. So if you're playing a game like Call of Duty or a fast-paced first-person shooter or something, um, it helps you detect those really fast-paced movements by increasing the contrast, and it also reduces the glare of the screen. So it really helps. Um, I didn't notice a huge difference in my gaming at first when I put them on because um, I was trying to get used to them a little bit, but I took them off, I played for a couple hours, and then I put them back on and I noticed I got better once I put them on the second time. So the reason I bought gaming glasses is because I would get really bad eye fatigue and um, I looked into it and that's I guess what it was. Um, what would happen is I'd be playing for a long time, whenever I play I play for like two or three hours at a time at least and my eyes would start tearing up, they would start burning and hurting, uh, I would look like I was crying because I was in pain and it's, I guess, due to eye fatigue. Also, when I would get done playing, I would go to sleep and wake up with a really bad headache and all of those things have gone away since I've been using these. So that has to be something that had to do with eye fatigue, all of those symptoms that I had. So um, these have really helped with my eye fatigue and they, these aren't just for gaming, they make other ones for um, just computer use or even if you game on the computer. Uh, they have another lens style called Crystalline and they're not yellowy, they're just regular clear ones. Um, but they do the same effect, they increase contrast, they filter out different UV rays and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a style that's more like a normal pair of glasses, you can definitely find those on there. And also, um, if you need to wear a prescription, like if you normally wear glasses anyway, you can get these in prescription. You just have to buy them off the website. And they have some other eye doctor that they make you go through to make prescription lenses, but you can definitely do that. But otherwise, these are 2020 ready. And a lot of people are saying that they help you like see things better, but I can't really attest to that because I have corrected vision anyway. I wear contact lenses and my contacts are really strong, but they give me close to 2020 vision. So I can see things really far away anyway, and putting these on didn't really help me like read fine print at a distance or anything. But when you wear these for gaming, you can tell a difference in the contrast of the colors of the game and um, reduced glare and they're just really comfortable. Like when you put them on, my eyes almost feel like they get a little bit cooler, like relaxed and they're just really comfortable. So if you're looking into getting a pair for yourself, I would definitely do it if you spend a lot of time in front of any kind of screen, if you sit um, at a computer screen for more than a couple hours or even at a TV screen playing video games for a couple hours at a time, I would definitely look into getting a pair just to protect your vision, um, prevent eye fatigue, and they're just comfortable and you can look like an awesome bug eye like me. And you could also just get a pair if you want to look like an MLG Pro. Hey baby, if you want to come over and hone some noobs. I got these off Amazon and they came in the original packaging, but the box was actually really hard to open. So that's why I didn't do an unboxing because I would have looked pretty ridiculous opening the box. Um, but it's that really hard plastic and even a heavy duty pair of scissors has a hard time cutting through that kind of plastic. So um, just be really careful when you open the box. I was afraid I was gonna break the glasses. But um, they came with this little pouch thing to keep the glasses safe and to store them in. But since these are so flimsy and fragile, I would recommend getting like a hard case to put your glasses in. I haven't gotten one yet, but I'm pretty clumsy, so that's probably a good idea for me. Another thing that I noticed about these is that they smudge really easily. So even me just holding it like this, I should probably be holding it on the sides, but um, just holding them at all, like taking them off your face, will put little fingerprints on them. So I just use the pouch to wipe the fingerprints off. 
Um, if you have any kind of soft cloth, that should be fine too. So just keep it handy next to wherever you keep your glasses. So I hope this little review helped you make a decision as to whether to get a pair of gunners for yourself. Um, I'm really happy with the performance of my glasses. So if you get a pair for yourself, let me know. Um, take a picture, tweet it out to me, and we can all be bug eyes together. How's that sound? So anyway, you guys, until next time, this is Strange Love signing out. Thanks for watching, and take it easy. Bye-bye.